Well, hello everyone. If you watched my last video, you saw that I hooked up a rod and reel from the bottom of Lake La Salle. And this here is the reel. I'll probably show you the rod in a separate video, but I just don't like the rod, even though there's nothing wrong with it. But if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description below. Okay, let's take a closer look at this thing. The knob muddy but actually the bearing here has not ceased if there is a bearing maybe there is a bushing a strong case for bushings they don't cease so i cannot really turn here oh i can turn it but not with the handle but i didn't even clean it because i just wanted you to see it the way i pulled it well i did hose it down a little bit but didn't really clean it Take a look at the line. I think this is 40 pound of something I haven't used. Quite stiff. Good line lay on this reel. Interesting. I don't see any rust anywhere. Not the bolts, nothing. It's just full of mud everywhere, but we may be able to clean and relube everything. I just hope the bearings are fine. So let's start taking parts off and see what's inside let's take off the spool first and see the condition of the drag washer so mega look at this my bench will get dirty but it's okay you see all of that dust here mm. Come on now, you got that far, don't seize on me now, come on, okay, as expected, everything is full of mud here, oh wow, look at this, no rust, Oh, same here. Let's take a look at the drag washers. Interesting material. I think the drag washers are totally fine. Yep, I'll just clean them. This is like paper. Look at how tiny these drag washers are. They're absolutely tiny for such a big reel. Unbelievable. You'd think that this would have like at least inch and a half washer. I'm gonna have to put a paper towel here because this thing is really dirty. Okay, what else? Let's remove the easy stuff first let's see the condition of the handle no screw in handle at least no seals very dirty but I don't see any rust yep Let me clean this a little bit before we continue because I can't even work here. But I didn't want to clean before the video because I wanted you guys to see everything. Does this look better or what? Huh? What next? Let's remove the bale. Well, I noticed already the line roller is actually not seized. Okay, so once I clean this and I lube it, It'll be in top shape. So I am not concerned about anything so far. Man, not a lot of dirt here. And definitely no rust. Look. Look, well, there is some dirt here. If you can see on this silly GoPro. 
Yeah, there is some dirt here. But uh, easily cleaned, removed. I think the bale will be better than when he last used it, when I'm done with it. What next? Okay, let's remove the rotor. Oh my god. Look what we found under the rotor. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, go gently wash this down. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Here we go. This is much better. Again, not a lot of rust. This one little bolt here is rusty, but I don't see anything else. I don't see anti-reverse bearing in this reel, which is a good thing because there is no way the anti-reverse bearing would have survived this flood and there is no way I would have bought a new anti-reverse bearing but now that this has a bushing and it has this little thing, we can just clean it, remove it and put it back in business okay time to see the guts the gears and the bearings I haven't seen one bearing yet This is totally clean. Okay. So I see it's full of water but no mud. It's the first bearing. As I was afraid, this bearing is seized. Wow. Here we are. The main gear and the pinion gear. And both of them look dirty, but let me clean the main gear. I want to see if the main gear is worn out. No, ah, main gear looks fine. And this one is bronze, so it looks like new. So, as I was afraid, all three bearings are seized and they look bigger than anything I have and uh, I'm not gonna order bearings for this but uh, let me clean everything and uh, I'll let you know uh, how it goes alright guys it's been two days and uh, about 500 q-tips since I opened this reel first and uh, I wanted to give you a status on how far I've gotten overall it's pretty good news the body is perfectly clean no damage the side plate perfectly clean no damage that took a lot of q-tips the rotor perfectly clean no damage this was clean too the clutch also clean ready to get packed with grease the stainless steel shaft perfectly clean no wear no damage in good shape the pinion gear perfectly clean look at this pinion gear no damage that's why they make them from bronze okay that's why i feel confident this reel will feel smooth once again so I had problem with all of the bearings, all three of them were seized. There is one other small bearing here, 
on the bottom of on the bottom of the pinion gear right over here this one was okay luckily okay this one is not only okay but smooth water never reached it okay but the three big bearings man i tried to loosen these bearings they wouldn't loosen so what i did was soak them two days you know what this is brake fluid okay i don't recommend anybody do this the way i do it because brake fluid is toxic i used it uh, with uh, gloves i handled it with gloves but uh, brake fluid was the only thing that i had as solvent and that's what i used to loosen these bearings and it did work okay all three bearings are now loose and now I'm going to soak them uh, one or two days in uh, motor oil just to get them smooth again now that they're loose. I don't want them to have any kind of sandy feeling. Okay. But the bearings will be fine as well. I'm soaking the line roller now. I already cleaned it up, but it has something like rust that I want to get uh, shiny again. The spool, as you can see, perfectly clean. I cleaned all of the washers on the drag stack this is ready to get greased and put back as well overall i think at this point we are at good shape you can see what the guy put at the bottom of the spool is a backing tape to prevent slipping because he couldn't make a decent knot ow mosquitoes are eating me up in the garage i gotta i gotta continue tomorrow what are you doing Leave my buoy alone. Huh? Leave my buoy alone. Put it back. Put my buoy back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put it back. Okay. Good boy. He's a good boy. I'm gonna use TS321 on the bearings and I'm gonna use genuine Shimano grease on the gears of this puppy. This is it guys, we are ready to close this. I just want to tell you what I did here. Inside here, where the warm oscillation gear is, under this cap, this is packed with grease. The gears are packed with Shimano grease. And the steel shaft here, it is packed with grease as well. And I'm gonna pack these two entry points with grease as well. Both sides of the handle look like this, okay? Completely sealed with corrosion X. Look at the green color. Grease, okay? So no water can enter from here. The main shaft here and here, look. Yeah, I don't think this reel needs to be opened again for as long as it's alive. So I packed this side and this side of the bail mechanism with corrosion x as well you can actually kind of see it's coming out of here but listen to this bail trip can you you can almost hear the battery grease i don't know if this bail was tripping so smooth before the guy lost it in the lake all of the washers in the gear stack i showed you i cleaned them right well i also you can see here i also greased all of them now but look how clean this is okay look at this mechanism for the drag sound look how nice mechanism this spool has I just bought a hundred dollar Daiwa Eliminator, look out for the review, and it has inferior drag sound mechanism over here. Okay, they just put a wire. This thing is always vertical and suspended with a spring. So far superior drag sound mechanism in a super cheap Okuma reel. I'm kind of disappointed with that uh, Daiwa reel. Listen to the sound. Beautiful sound. 
perfectly smooth. Okay. Okay, so we put some brand new mono under the braid. So when I put the braid back on top, I want the spool to be full all the way to the tip. So when you cast, there is no noise from the line grabbing the lip and you get the maximum distance that this reel is capable of. But the other thing I'm going to do is, I'm not going to just put back this mono uh, on the spool. You know why? Because the line that you always use is on top of your spool, okay? And it's a little bit worn and it's the weakest. And this guy here has good 300 yards, okay? Not feet, 300 yards of braid, okay? But what I want to do is I want the line that he used for fishing to be on the bottom of the spool. And the line that he never used, which is actually this line right here, that's on the surface right now. Look how clean it is, by the way. This line looks totally clean. It doesn't look dirty. It looks like brand new line coming. I don't know if you can tell. But I want this brand new line that was never used to be on top of this pool. So you have the maximum strength available from this line. So the way to do this is... I'm going to get this empty spool here and I'm going to reel all of this line from here over here, okay? And then from here, I'm going to put it on the spool of the reel. And this is it, guys. This is the final result look now the spool is full all the way to the lip okay one millimeter under the lip now when you cast the line is, is gonna jump out of here without you know scratching on the lip of the spool and it's gonna be quiet and it's gonna go very far by the way look at this line lay man this reel has pretty good line lay can you hear this Can you hear smoothness, okay? Is it possible to hear smoothness? I think you can hear the smoothness of this reel. Okay. Perfectly smooth drag. Perfectly smooth trip. Yep. This puppy is good for a second life, hopefully a trophy catfish and hopefully whoever gets this reel sends me a nice picture, maybe even a video of catching something nice with this reel. Alright guys, so here is what I want to do with this reel. I want to give it to somebody who can make good use of it, okay? I didn't put 10 hours of, you know, cleaning and greasing and putting back together. Uh, just to give it to somebody who has a bunch of Daiwas and Shimanos and he will throw it in a drawer and forget about it. Uh, I put a lot of work in this reel and I want to know that I'll give it to somebody who will make good use of it. And for this reason, I'm not going to use the random uh, comment picker this time, okay? If you don't have a bunch of fancy reels and you think you can make good use of this reel, send me an email okay send me an email tell me what kind of tackle you have tell me what kind of fishing you do and i will mail this reel to you maybe i'll send you some other free tackle as well but uh yeah you'll get this reel and yeah it's not a daiwa or shimano but it's been recently serviced and everything is greased so good that you shouldn't need to do anything to this reel for as long as you have it. Hopefully I managed to find it a good new home. And uh, let's see how it goes, okay? Oh